Hi, and welcome to this week's Super Duper Deluxe Tip of the Week. What we're going to do is I want to talk about the way light behaves when it hits an object, whether it's a piece of fruit or a face or a nose on a face or a leg, just not round. So I've drawn a round ball here just for illustration's sakes, but of course it can be translated into anything. So let's go through everything, okay? So first off, what I want you to look at is this big span here. What that is, that's the light hitting the object. And over here is the shadows and then the cast shadows. And this is called the form shadow. For those of you who don't know, this is called a cast shadow. Now, what I want to get to into is how all this affects the object. So first here, this little square here I put in here is represent, representing the... Um, the highlight on an object, okay? And depending on the light source, if it's a cool light like a North Light Studio, what you would mix for this is white with a little bit of ultramarine, and that would give you the highlight color. And then this would be what we would generally refer to as the local color. But in reality, it's not really the local color, because it's really the brightest part, the brightest light. Not counting the highlight, but the brightest light. So what happens in the brightest light it is actually the local color that's bleached out a little bit because of light. So if you were to maybe take local color, add a little bit of white, a little bit of um, blue, if you're working with a blue light source like North Daylight, then that would give you this. And you see that would give you that color for that. And you see this funky little band right here? It actually probably extends more over to there. This is what we're going to call the real true local color. And this is the most colorful part of this object, okay? Like we'll say it's a peach. This will be the most colorful part, this band right here. Why is that the most colorful part? Well, I'll tell you, because it is not in the shadow yet. So it's still getting some light, but it's not getting so much light that it's being bleached out, right? The, the color isn't being bleached out. So right here, when you paint this area, this will be the richest color, okay? So that's your one opportunity to stick the absolute most rich color in the turn area. And you see it only comes up to the top because this is a top plane here. The top plane is getting more light on it. Then we move into the shadow. And then this will be the darkest part of the shadow. It's called the core dark. And that's where it's not really getting any of the light. And it's also not getting any reflected light. So that will be the darkest part of the shadow. Whereas over here, this next part, you're going to be getting some reflected light. So it'll be a little lighter than this core dark. Okay? And then finally, right in the middle of it, not on the edge, would be the reflected light. A lot of people make a mistake of putting the reflected light right on the edge. And the only way you'd get that is if something is backlit. Okay? So keep that in mind. Now... This little band over here, you see I've got this little strip here and I actually could go across the top too. This is what we call, this is the edge. Now if you were to imagine that this was a disco ball and it had mirrors all the way around it, if you looked right at the edge of this object or this disco ball, you'd be just almost seeing that mirror on the edge of it. So what you're seeing is reflection from the background right here bouncing into that edge and then back into your eye. So to make this believable and to help it go around and help that edge turn, you take this background color and mix it in with a little bit of this bleached out color and that will be, it, it'll help it turn but also it'll keep it, it will keep it looking like it all goes together because it'll pick up a little bit of the background color. And those same things happen all around all the parts of the edges. Okay, I want to get this finished, so let's say a couple more things. Down here will be the absolute darkest place where this ball is kissing the table. And, but don't forget, don't put just a black line. Have it run up here a little bit. And the last thing I want to hit before I run out of time is this is the cast shadow. It's going to be darker here, lighter here. The edges here will be sharper the closer you are to it and softer the further you get away to it from it. Okay? Hope you enjoyed those tips. Visit 
www.oilpaintingdvd to sign up for my weekly tips. You have a great day.